Connecticut is full of many attractions. From clubs, parks, and museums, there are many things you can do here. However, out of all of these, none are quite like on-track karting in Wallingford. Looking to go fast? On-track karting fulfills a customer's need for speed. This track essentially brings a true racing experience to the average person. Boasting is one of the fastest indoor racetracks in the country. On-track serves as a spot for anyone to suit up and race. Co-owner Marty Tyrell says this track is much more than a destination. We get a great deal of satisfaction from running this business. The employees seem to love working here. The town loves having uh, an activity like this uh, here. The customers absolutely love it. It's something very unique. This track offers customers more than a ride and drive teams. What makes this place different is that many drivers elect to compete in OnTrack's very own race league. The stories off the track are just as good as on. Meet Steven Azenyi, who at the young age of 16 has already made a name for himself on the track. Last year, Steven competed in his first adult race league and immediately became a contender. Well, I led to points coming out of 13 of 14 races and the last one, kind of everything went wrong. Steven entered the final race with a favorable points lead. However, early race struggles were too much for Steven to recover from. He wound up finishing seventh overall. Ultimately, he lost the championship by just one point. Losing by one point is kind of like losing a basketball game in double overtime on a buzzer beater, you know. After the loss, Steven found a way to forget what happened and was confident heading into the next season. Within weeks, Steven was back up front. However, what happened next would affect him both on and off the track. My mom, you know, she calls all in the room and says, I have cancer, you know. It's kind of like, what? They said there's a tumor and it's an aggressive tumor. So we went in and did a biopsy and sure enough, it was cancer. Susan needed treatment immediately. Her chemotherapy was scheduled for the morning after Stephen's big race. Susan had to go to the treatment center the night before, making her unable to attend the race. This left Susan very distraught. I think the worst part of my whole treatment and everything is, is not being there to see what they're going through. Many spectators believe that the distractions could potentially prevent him from clinching the championship. But Stephen is different. He works to find a way to use the hard times as motivation. Uh, it kind of just pushes you harder to win, you know, when you're going through tough times, you know, even though the smallest thing really helps out, so I figure, you know, the better I do, the more it will probably help her, you know, with her mental mindset and everything. Steven suits up and is ready to go. With his father recording the race for Susan to watch afterwards, he qualifies second, but in the first turn, was able to pass and gain the lead. After leading the first few laps, Steven has a lot in his mind as we ride on board. In the fall when I had absolutely no distractions at all and I still lost, you know, it's kind of like a wake-up call, so I really wanted to win this season anyway to begin with. And, you know, winning the championship is definitely big, considering all this that went on around the house and my family and everything. With just five laps to go, the championship is in his sights. However, right on Steven's back bumper is young Robbie Glyn. Diving on the inside, Glyn is able to pass for the lead. Coming to the checkered flag, he's able to hold off Steven to win the race. Although Steven lost the race, with the second place finish, he was able to clinch the championship as he goes into the final week. In the cooldown lap, both drivers congratulated each other on their victories. For Steven, this victory marked the first time he ever won a championship. Um, it felt great though, knowing that, hey, I can be a champion, you know. It's kind of like one of those things that really builds you up when you're in a kind of a slump in life, you know. It's the greatest feeling, just to watch your children succeed when you're going through such a tough time. The newly crowned champion has some new competition for years to come. It comes from an unusual suspect, his younger brother. Basically, he becomes an upgrade when he turns 12, and his birthday is the end of uh, March, which is coming up really close. Bob has been following Steven's footsteps, but now as an upgrade, he has the drive to go out and succeed. I always wanted to get better than him so I could beat him, but he's always got more experience than me, so this is my one time to beat him. Steven and Bob agree to go out for a winner-take-all race. With the championship under his belt, Steven goes into this race with newfound confidence. Yet, Steven has some choice words when asked how he'll do against his younger brother. That's no contest at all. I mean, I'll, be, I'll be lapping him. Both drivers get off to a good start. In the race for best lap time, Bob is surprising his older brother, beating him by less than a few thousandths of a second. Going into the last lap, he still holds a slight lead. Ultimately, luck was on Steven's side as he pulled off a lap time that just barely beat his brother. Regardless of the loss, 
Bob continues to see support from his entire family and how it impacts him. I'm always happy when I see my mom and dad give me the thumbs up when I'm coming around the turn. And I know that everything's all right because they're there helping me. The Azeni family serves as living proof that through tough times, by sticking together and showing support, anything is possible. So the question is this, will another story like this come along and on track? We'll have to wait until the green flag flies on another season as we search for another young man's drive.